swear a clean kitchen at the end of the night is so satisfying. Hello you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, or actually good afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you guys are at. Happy Saturday, today is Saturday, August 14th, I believe. And I'm staying home today, I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing tons of laundry. I wanna go ahead and declutter the girls' room. So we just have tons of motivation ahead for us in today's video. I hope you guys are subscribed to my channel so you guys do not miss any of my laundry motivation, cleaning motivation, motherhood lifestyle videos that I have for you guys. I just have tons to do today. Here so is what we are working with in their room. It's just a mess. So I have three of those little rope round containers that I keep their toys in and if it doesn't fit in those three containers, then it has to go. It has to go, you guys. I mean, you can just see, it's mainly just like stuffed animals, miscellaneous stuff, a lot of little stuff. Like these little toys, I'm just like, mm, wow, my hand sanitizer holder. <laughs> some of this stuff like that can just be cleaned out. Like some of this stuff, gotta go, gotta go. I also plan on pit putting together my new office chair that I got for my room. It was very affordable, you guys. I'll have it linked down below for you. It was like $50 and I mean, how can you go wrong with that? I got my coffee, of course, you guys already know. So I asked you guys in my last video what you guys prefer more as far as a voiceover or if you prefer the vlog style. It was kind of 50-50, so I decided to make this video a mixture of both of it. I love doing both. I feel like the voiceover is more personal and the vlog style is more of me being able to explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And then I like to just add those clips in it with the voiceover. But we're gonna go ahead and start some laundry. This weekend, I did not end up doing the <laughs> load a day to keep the laundry away. I ended up just piling, all, piling it all up for the weekend only because I knew I really wanted to film this video for you guys. So I felt like it was gonna be more content. But yeah, so we're just gonna start off with our laundry. If you guys want a more in-depth video on what I exactly use, and my routine, I have a lot of laundry motivational videos on my channel that you guys will be able to check out. But for this video, I kind of wanted to switch it up and have like a get it all done with me, mommy motivation, and just getting things that I need to get done around my house. I love watching these videos, so I really wanted to film one. I know they can give you tons of motivation whether you're watching them and doing what you need to do or you watch it and then you go finish what you need to do. All right guys, so I finally have the base of the chair done. I'm probably just gonna show you guys when it's done. It's currently 4.09, so we'll see how long it takes me to put this together. All right guys, here's our chair. It took me about 30 minutes. I'm loving it, you guys, love it. Like I said, it was like $50. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. So cute. You like it? You're not about to be in it. <laughs> On weekends that I have to do laundry, I like to go ahead and start them early in the morning after the girls wake up, before I start breakfast. Only because while a load of laundry is going, I will be able to get other tasks that I need to get done around the house. I have noticed that now that Kensley goes to school now, my laundry has accumulated a lot more and a lot quicker. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back to doing laundry every single day if it's not at least towels, it's bedding I have to do, I have to wash her towels that she needs for school. So it's just a lot, it's just a lot. Cause every time she wears her outfits, I of course wash them. We all might not be like that, but that's just how I am. I feel like there's so many germs going around and I just want to wash her stuff anyway. Then again, you know, Kaylani's too, so she has tons of clothes that need to be washed. And me, when I go to work, oh no, I don't wear my stuff more than once. I sweat so much at work. And once again, all the germs that I feel like my job has, oh no, I'm washing those clothes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Sissy wasn't here this weekend, so Kaylani was up under me, helping me do the laundry. Look at her just watching me do every single thing. Then she was helping me put some stuff in the dryer. She is just such a sweetheart. Look at her, just wanting to help and do everything. to do that if not every other load whenever you feel like it's accumulated enough please empty it out I'm gonna go ahead and start hanging my clothes over here you guys know I like to hang my stuff my jeans my t-shirts my dressy shirts whatever it is I do not like my stuff to shrink but when it comes to the girls clothes and my boyfriend's clothes I do dry their clothes so tomorrow I will finish those <laughs> I will finish folding those and that one and then we have like two or three loads in there only because there's like blankets and I have to split up when I wash those I am about to do these dishes I did not end up making spaghetti because baby and Kehlani were sleeping so I just ended up we just ended up getting chick-fil-a just because I know that sounds like a stupid excuse but we got chick-fil-a <laughs> and then I just picked up her room a little bit I didn't even end up going through her toys because she fell asleep. So we will go through her toys tomorrow. So I end up making this a two day um, process slash vlog, whatever you want to call it. So we will go through those toys tomorrow. But I'm about to go ahead and wash the wash this and then put those in the dishwashers. dishwasher I like to put the bowls and the cups up top and then if I have any pots or pans I'll put them in where I can squeeze them in at but for the bottom I like to put most of the plates and then probably pans too if I have room because the top usually fills up really quickly and when it comes to bigger items like this baking sheet I will wash that after I load the dishwasher up I hope everyone's like this too. Sometimes I like to add a little essential oils in the sink just to get it smelling good, you know, feeling good because a clean kitchen makes my heart so happy. That Mr. Clean Deep Clean is amazing. It's the Gain Scent and I love the Gain Scent and I love how much it deep cleans whatever I need it to be clean. I swear a clean kitchen at the end of the night is so satisfying. I'm gonna go ahead and end <laughs> this part here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Good morning you guys. We are back with day number two and we're gonna tackle the girls room today. I currently washing Kehlani sheets. I need to do Kinsley sheets next and then we're gonna declutter and organize these toys. And I think I'm gonna move their kitchen over here. I'm just trying to figure it out right now, but that's the game plan for today. And then I have to fold like three baskets of clothes. So we'll do that. And then I think that's all we have to do. So are you guys ready for this motivation? Because I'm ready to get done because I'm tired of looking at it. throwing the toys that I'm giving away into the blue bin. 
<sighs> Let me go ahead and get started. got around to doing this task because I have been putting it on the back burner for the longest. Christmas is going to be coming up soon and I'm going to have to honestly declutter even more because I still feel like there's so many toys. It's like they play with them once in a while so I'm like oh I'm going to keep them not get rid of them but no I'm going to have to literally keep a couple toys and throw the rest away because it is getting crazy. Here's everything I will be getting rid of. Decided I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum before I move the room around only because Kehlani has all those Funyuns crushed up right there. So I wanna clean the floor before I start moving stuff. So let me go ahead and bag this up. Now I'm about to go ahead and move their bedroom around. Here's what their bedroom looks like before I move it. My itch to switch has been on fire recently and I have just been wanting to move and rearrange. I really just didn't like their beds where they were in the room. So I was like, let me just go ahead and once again, get up and do it. This Saturday, I had tons of motivation and I was definitely in the rearranging mood. So I went ahead and took advantage of it. I think this day I moved the living room around too because I was like, uh, -uh I wanna change this up. And while I was doing this video and taking breaks and letting the camera charge, I would go move a piece of furniture in there. I'm so silly. My boyfriend was so tired of me this day. He was like, when you'll see him come in the room actually no I think I cut those clips out and he was like really you're moving the bedroom again yes baby I'm moving the bedroom again and I swear by these wall plugins for Bath and Body Works just while I'm looking at it right now I have to talk about it I keep about two in their room because I don't like them to be visible so I'll put one behind the cubicle where the TV is and then I'll put another one by the cubicle where Kehlani's clothes are because I don't like Kehlani to be able to see them because then she will mess with them. Y'all, I'm gonna have to tell Kimberly she can't keep her kitchen looking like this. It was a mess. It was so dirty. There was like dried up food in that little coffee compartment up there. Like what in the world? Here's our aftermath of the bedroom. I'm so obsessed. I love it so much. Can't wait for Kimberly to get home to see her reaction. New and improved bedroom. So cute. these into five and then bag the other four so I can use um, one pound for our spaghetti I want you guys to comment down below how you guys make your spaghetti what kind of sauce you use of course some people make homemade sauce everyone makes their spaghetti so differently I grew up eating spaghetti different than how I make it but I love the way I make it now I used to leave the noodles and the sauce separate but now I just combine them just drained our meat so now I'm gonna go ahead and cook our bell pepper and onions and then I'm gonna go ahead and season them as well and then I'll go ahead and combine and put our meat back together once I cook the onions and bell pepper I like to go ahead and add the top so that they can cook faster and they can go ahead and steam and soften Some spaghetti without 
without having some Texas toast. I like to use the five cheese Texas toast, so good. All right, dinner is done. I will go ahead and make the girls plate and then I will make baby's plate and I'll probably eat a little bit later after I give them a bath. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I will go ahead and start folding the clothes after I give the girls a bath and after they lay down because Kehlani is hungry. Depending on how messy the kitchen is after dinner, I'll sometimes swifter and sometimes I won't. I really need to give the house a good, good, good mop. So look forward to that in a video coming up. I'm probably gonna do like a deep clean because our bathroom really needs to be deep cleaned as well. Gross. <laughs> but this is honestly my least favorite task is folding it's so satisfying but I just don't like doing it mainly because most of the girls clothes do not get folded so it just looks so messy when I just put them in the laundry basket but I do try to at least fold the clothes that I do fold of mine and then I usually just let my boyfriend do what he wants with his clothes and then of course I'll fold the towels too look at him just getting up playing the game doing whatever he's doing in the background <laughs> that is gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys got tons and tons and tons of motivation you guys tackled your to-do list you guys tackled things that you need to get done i hope you guys are all ready for the week don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm hot i'm sweaty and i'm ready to get in the shower so i will catch up with you guys in my next video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one Bye.